Hi, Liz Ness here. In today's video, I am going to share how to add a pattern to some text that you've written with a regular old text brush. Well, actually, it's not a regular old text brush. It's kind of a cool text brush that you can get for free at my site. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I have open here a screen size canvas, but you can use any size that you like. And I'm going to go ahead and use this large outliner, which is from a freebie set called Dimensions Number no. 2 that you can get if you're an email subscriber to Pinecone and Pencil. And I'll leave the link in the description below so that you can sign up for that. And let's see, we've got this set to, well, I'm going to go somewhere around 79, 80%, something like that. Let's see, I think it's one up at 78. Let's get back up there. Yeah, 79%. And I'm going to use this nice uh, dark color here. Let me tell you what the value is on that. The hexadecimal value is 934648. Okay, and I'm just going to write the word fall. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create two layers on top of this layer one. So just tap the plus sign twice. Then we're going to go back to that first layer, tap it, and then we're going to go over to our selection tool here. And with automatic selected and add selected, we're first going to select the inner color here. So we're going to tap that color and then we can draw our threshold up and select more things if we'd like, but I actually like less. So I want to come down to the point where it's just the inner stuff, not the outer stuff that's selected. And that is somewhere around 35. Let's go ahead and take it right to 35% there. Okay. And I'm going to do that with this too. Okay. Perfect. Now that's selected, we're going to go over to that second layer and we're going to tap it twice. So we select it and then also open up the menu here and we're going to tap mask. Okay. Now we're going to deselect our selection tool to take away the focus. We're going to go back to layer one and we're going to select our selection tool again. And this time we're just going to focus on that outer line there because we, we might want to change the color of our outer line later on. And I'm going to want the inner line to right there and right there and right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to that top layer, layer three. I'm going to tap it twice so that I get the menu option here. I'm going to tap mask. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and deselect there. Okay. So now let's go back to our layer two here. This is where I want to put my pattern. So I'm going to make sure that layer two, the actual layer two and not the mask, is the brighter blue color because that'll tell me that it has focus. And then I'm going to go over and select a new color. I like this yellow and let me tell you what the value is there so you can duplicate this at home. It's FCB41A. Okay, I'm going to go back to the desk here just because it's easier for me to see what's going on. And then this time I'm going to choose a pattern that you can get from my store and I'll leave a link in the description below for that along with a coupon. So check that out. This will be a coupon for my YouTube viewers because I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for your views and subscriptions. It's so awesome. And also for your comments. I love talking to you. Okay. Anyway, this is the trees and leaves um, set pattern set that you can get at my store. And I'm going to ch choose this autumn joy uh, leafy pattern right here. And let's see, how much do I want that? Oh, I don't know. Somewhere around 50%, I guess is pretty good. It's still tiny. And these patterns are made to go on a 12 inch by 12 inch at 300 DPI canvas. So they're really pretty large. Um, so we can play around with the sizing just a little bit and I'm just going to tap right in there. Okay. And as you can see, it's confined to that little, uh, uh, inner, inner part that we've masked there. So even though the, the layer is actually filled with that whole pattern, we've confined it to that little part with our layer mask. Okay. So, so far so good, but I do want to change that outer color, which I suspected that I might. So we're going to go up to layer three. And again, we want to make sure that the brighter color is on that, uh, layer three, uh, layer, not the layer mask of layer three. <laughs> All right. And so now I'm thinking I want a darker blue and there was a darker blue over here. So let's tap that and I'll tell you the hex decimal value. It is 092939. Okay. And now that I've got that selected, I'm just going to drop that color right in there and it gives a nice, nice outline, which I absolutely love. And it's just such a fun effect for 
uh, titles on cards or pocket cards or scrapbooking, you name it. It's just a really fun effect. Um, and I hope you enjoy having fun with it. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.